Well, that certainly brought things to a grinding halt. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 moments that ruined a video game. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at the most infamous portions of games that completely, if not almost, ruined our experience. Number 10. Jason. Heavy Rain. Jason! 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 Heavy Rain isn't for everyone, at least not for those looking for action-packed gameplay. However, those who were looking for an intriguing story were treated to an intense murder mystery. That isn't to say Heavy Rain was perfect, as some of its unconventional gameplay made the game the butt of many jokes, from its dancing speech commands to requiring a button prompt for literally every action. Of course, we could never forget the insanely ridiculous Jason segment. Aimlessly wander around, pressing X to Jason every second? We understand this moment is supposed to strengthen our bond with Jason, but some of us ended up turning the game off and leaving the kid lost forever. Jason! 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 Number 9. The Triforce Quest. The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. Life is short, and knowing that, there are many games we'd like to play. So when a game is padding stuff out, it can feel like we're wasting our time. The Legend of Zelda has made us feel that way a couple of times, especially in The Wind Waker, which was a glaring blemish on an otherwise perfect face. The Triforce quest will task you with tracking down and collecting the eight Triforce shards. But before that, you must obtain eight Triforce maps, which requires a lot of backtracking. Basically, this is an overcomplicated, unnecessarily long fetch quest, and it caused many players to either quit or remain as salty as the game's vast ocean for the remainder of the game. Number 8. The Tower of Blades – God of War This wasn't just a headache, it was a nightmarish migraine. In the first God of War, Kratos must escape Hades by scaling a massive pillar of spinning blades. Sounds simple, until you get hit and fall all the way back down to the bottom. This caused many players to give up and never play it again. Although this problem did not go unnoticed by the developers. In an interview with Games TM, director David Jaffe admitted that this segment was not tested, and focus testing was skipped because they thought everything was fine with it. This was something he regrets doing. Well, at least he's honest about it. Number 7. The Whole Volcano Sequence – Resident Evil 5 One of the most polarizing games in the franchise, Resident Evil 5 made some drastic changes to the series formula by making co-op gameplay its main focus. Resident Evil has been known to feature some of the most ridiculous moments in gaming, but none has been quite as absurd as this. As the final level in the game, we witnessed Albert Wesker turn into a tentacled garbage monster, and we were subjected to quite possibly the most insane quick-time event of all time, Chris Redfield punching a boulder. We honestly don't know what was ruined more, our thumbs or this game. Yeah. Number 6. The Impossible Levels – The Lion King If you somehow managed to conquer The Lion King's convoluted monkey puzzle, then you got the unfortunate experience of playing one of the most difficult platformers ever made. Chances are you eventually became so frustrated that a controller was thrown or you uttered your very first obscenity before officially quitting. What if we told you there was a reason for the game's unforgiving difficulty? According to Lewis Castle, co-founder of developer Westwood Studios, Disney believed that if players managed to beat the game, they would not buy it. That's a fair point, but this was a game designed for kids, so challenging wasn't a friendly term to younger players. At least Aladdin was easier, more or less. Ah. 
Number 5. The Batmobile Sections, Batman Arkham Knight. Just a matter of time before I find you, Dark Knight. We've lost the Cobra. Maintaining search pattern. For years, fans had been itching to take the Batmobile out for a spin in the Batman Arkham games. Well, developer Rocksteady made it happen for the final chapter in the series. And it was certainly not what everyone was hoping for. Many players felt glued to the Batmobile because of some missions requiring the player to race a time limit or blow up enemy tanks. Don't worry though, the Batmobile's cannons are non-lethal. How even? That makes no sense, it's a freaking tank! Arkham Knight was not a terrible game, unless you played the PC version. But to many Dark Knight fans, this would be one whimper of a finale. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Let's finish this. Number four, the speeder bike level, Battletoads. Battletoads might be one of the most difficult platformers in gaming, but there are a few portions that are somewhat doable. What isn't doable are the speeder bike levels, which will lull you into a sense of easy patterns before demanding faster and faster reactions. Needless to say, this is not a game for the easily frustrated, as you'll find yourself swearing at your screen and going into a blind rage. Honestly, we'll never know how some people have managed to beat the game. Then again, we'll never even attempt it because the cycle of fury will just begin anew. It's best for both us and our masochistic love for Battletoads. Number 3. The Animus, the Assassin's Creed series. Great, that should do it. We'll email you the receipt. Till next time, take care, Sean. Bye bye, yes, bye. And don't expect any more free coffee. To newcomers, Assassin's Creed seems like a series of grand adventures that take place throughout different time periods. This belief is not entirely wrong, but it's also why many new players have left disappointed. For example, Black Flag boasts an excellent experience and is regarded as the best in the series. However, when the animus is ham-fisted into the plot, it feels like you just took on a second job. This completely destroys the immersion, and it's enough to cause any new players to delete the game from their system. Can you really blame them? Speaking of which, our trailer is finished. Would you like to see it? I owe you that much. Number 2. Biggs Campaign Sonic Adventure. Froggy? Uh oh. Many fans fondly remember Sonic Adventure for its open exploration and quality graphics. Well, at the time they were. Is it the best Sonic game ever? Well, it could have been had it not been for Big the Cat. Only a terrible character like him could deliver such an abysmal experience. In case you were never subjected to it, Big's campaign involves fishing for his pet Froggy in various levels. Yes, it's incredibly tedious, and the poor controls certainly didn't make the experience any more tolerable. Needless to say, many of us put the controller down to go question our life choices and the purpose of searching for this damn frog. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some dishonorable mentions. Phelps, what you did to your wife and kids was on America. My wife threw me out. Did I ask for your opinion? You're here to listen to mine. Humanity's imprisonment is a kindness. Number one, the ending, Mass Effect 3. Because of you, humanity is already undone. That's not true! Look, ending a video game on a high note can be hard. We get it. As for Mass Effect 3, whew, that backlash was intense. When it launched, critics and fans praised Mass Effect 3 for its combat, music, voice acting, just about everything was as perfect as Mama's cooking. Except the ending. The ending was a complete mess, as both fans and critics pointed out contradictions and inconsistencies in the narrative, expressing their disappointment and frustration. How could Bioware end the series on such a sour note? This prompted Bioware to release free DLC known as the Extended Cut, which added more to the story while resolving a few problems.
Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.